At the end of the last video, I left you guys with a to be continued due to a power outage. And well, today the power is back on. And I'll talk about why our off grid systems we have in place didn't help us out during this particular outage. But first, I want to say thank you to Daniel Falkt for joining us on Patreon. Welcome to Patreon, Daniel. And I want to say thank you to Redneck Industries for picking up a It's Shitty in a City t shirt on Teespring. Amazing! All right, let's get right into today's video. We're gonna pick up right where we left off in the last video. But before we do that even, we're gonna have another kind gentleman come by and dump his hot, dusty load in the yard. Mm -mm. The whole concrete dumping thing is working out like kind of well. I mean, I don't know, it's better than just dirt. It's doing a decent job armoring the banks on this side of the wash. However, on the other side of the wash, we have this giant Palo Verde tree and we're thinking we're just gonna rip it out. It's kind of right in the middle of the problem zone and ultimately this tree is, it's just a weed. They start out super small and they just plant themselves in really inconvenient places and then grow into these absolutely massive green trees. And uh, it's funny because when I first seen one like a few years ago, I thought they were super cool. You know, they're unique, they're green. But uh, you know, now they're just kind of an inconvenience. I think it's time for this thing to go. Think it's gonna go quietly or do you think it's gonna be a I don't know, let's see if the 13,000 pound open road winch can pull down this absolutely massive Palo Verde tree. Okay, so after like the fifth try, it looks like the tree is finally coming down. I'm gonna try to go for a better camera angle because uh, this potentially might be kind of cool. This is a large tree, way bigger than I'm sure it looks on camera, but this thing's easily like 50 feet tall, if not taller. <laughs> well, the, the tree's down. Now we just gotta clean up this big mess. That's gonna be a big job. Professional arborist. There she is. Watch out, Randy Perkins. There's a new arborist in town. I'm a professional arborist. Arbonist. He's a concrete always there? That's the one that was originally holding up the pad that fell before we even got this place. Oh, wow. That block. But this opens up so many opportunities for us to shore up this bank without yeah. this tree being here. Yeah, it really does. I know. You really pulled that sucker from the root. Yeah, we need to get it out of here. I don't want to just cut it down. I wanted to rip it out. Get out of here, tree. Now we just got to cut this thing up. That's going to be a big job. Probably a job for like an actual professional arborist, like Randy Perkins. Now that we have this tree gone, we basically have three options the way I see it. We could run a gabion wall to kind of shore up this bank and retain some of the dirt to, you know, support this slab that holds our solar panels. A gabion wall is basically a basket filled with a bunch of rocks. It kind of still breathes, but it, it's kind of like a, a retaining wall fence kind of deal. Or option number two, we can run a giant culvert through this entire wash and then cover it over with fill dirt, basically bridging the gap 
between the solar panel slab and this build site that we're gonna potentially build Lexi's mom's house on, slash casita. Or option number three, we could get some kind of surplus K rails or something and line the banks and continue dumping concrete like we've been doing on this side, only try to do it over there. So I don't know, one of these three options is gonna have to be the call. Haven't really figured out which one yet. I did meet Heavy D at the Off-Road Expo, and he was really cool. I know a collaboration with a channel that large and someone like that would probably never happen, but I wanna ask you guys a favor. If you could head over to Heavy D Sparks channel and comment, collaborate with Captain Narkill to help us fix the erosion in our wash. That would be super cool. I know this dude loves running heavy equipment and is down for a challenge. So uh, some help from someone like that, it'd be amazing. Probably would never happen though, but hey, it'd be pretty cool. So we're feeling pretty good. We got this tree down and that's a step in the right direction. And lastly, this is our Sonin battery. It's currently not working, although Sonin does have a work order to replace all four batteries in this unit. We replaced the computer, like the main hub, the screen, but the biggest problem here is we had a faulty circuit breaker. Something went wrong in the system, had a glitch, and the circuit breaker didn't trip. Ended up draining all of our batteries down to nothing, which damaged the cells, and uh, ultimately destroyed this battery. It basically self-destructed. So there's a technician who's gonna be out here sometime in the next two weeks to repair this unit, install all new batteries, replace the breaker, and uh, yeah, hopefully we should have off-grid power after that. What I don't understand though is having 19 kilowatts of solar, you think that would be enough to power the house during the daytime only, but it wasn't. So that's something I don't understand. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you dislike this video for some reason and don't like to see trees falling down and don't like to see big pieces of concrete dumped in the yard, then uh, well, Still, leave a like on this video, and if you like this video, also leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, see you guys this Sunday. Yeah.